Hi guys! So many of us asked me to make videos about what I make, so today I'm making salsa. So I have some tomatoes that I clean from the skin, so I peel the skin off, and the way I do it is I uh, boil the water, I pour it on the tomato, let it sit for a couple of seconds, and then after this, uh, the skin comes off very easily. Then I chopped the tomatoes, I chopped red onions, I also chopped some fresh cilantro and garlic, mix it all together. Now I am chopping some green peppers to go with it, and I would like it to be very fine, very, very small, very nicely chopped. How I do it. I am making a, another vegan dinner today, and yes, salsa is nightshades, full of nightshades. I usually don't recommend them because nightshades tend to be more inflammatory. So if you have arthritis or any inflammatory conditions, autoimmune inflammatory conditions, lupus, and so on, I do not recommend to eat it. But um, I don't, and um, now it's kind of time when I experiment a lot at home cooking dinners so for me it's fine for now but you have to know which foods are good for you and which are not so I also added some uh, olive oil to it just a little bit just for the consistency and I will be adding some fresh lemon juice I already washed this lemon and what do I have to squeeze the juice? I usually have something that I use, but I will squeeze the juice right in here. I used it already for cilantro and garlic. So I will squeeze it here to separate to separate the pits, the seeds. There we go. There we go. All right. So remember, tomatoes, green peppers, cilantro, onions, and some salt, and some lemon juice. I will add some salt to it. And that is my favorite Himalayan salt. Here it is. Just a tiny bit. We can add some jalapeno peppers, but I I don't like jalapeno peppers uh, because they are too hot for me. Now let's try just a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty good. Like it. So this is yeah, salsa. Next one, I will be making some guacamole without tomatoes. So avocado, lemon juice, and salt. 